Hello. Hi, good evening. I'm Diane, and this is Nikki, and this is our design proposal for my readers. Um, fun fact also, today is actually World Book Day. So, happy World Book Day! Yay! <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, so um, with my readers, um, it was already apparent that um, a lot of Malaysians didn't know how to, or weren't fluent in English, and half of the 15-year-old Malaysian children actually don't know how to read. And this is a problem that um, my readers wanted to solve. So um, to give a background or some information about my readers, um, they are an NGO that empowers children through their literacy programs and communities. And what they do specifically is that they have volunteers and uh, the teachers and the peers to teach other children how to read. So in this photo is Alex teaching the children how to read. Okay. So um, on our first, um, this is actually Alex stirring us around the school in one of the um, in one of our immersion days. So he basically just taught us more about my readers. He gave us more information about them, and he also taught us about the schools and the communities and the culture of Malaysia. And when I um, when Alex told me more about my readers, like when I immersed myself, I really just felt, um, I mean, when he's, because he said this quote that education is everyone's business and everyone should be involved. And that really just made my heart really soft because seeing my readers commit and dedicate themselves to something bigger than their world was just very heartwarming. And it also inspired me to help and um, help other people in my own little way. Okay, um, we'll share a bit more about our immersion, but um, I guess overall, for me, I felt so overwhelmed because we really got the whole My Readers experience. As in, pati client meetings, sinama niya kami. So we know, like, literally everything, like, how they operate. Um, and I think, like, yeah, they're super passionate about what they do. Um, but I also feel like we should also applaud, like, how committed they are to their advocacy. That was really what struck me, and that they get up every day and do this every single day. And it was just amazing for me. So, yeah, we'll share more about the immersion. Oh, so when we arrived, um, Alex picked us up, and then we went straight to an evening session um, in a community hall. And he just, so Alex did the session, and then he gave us the toolkits and the workbook that they designed themselves, um, and we just checked it out um, on the next day. Okay, so in the next day, this is more, this is in the, in the school in Klang. It's just an hour outside of Kuala Lumpur. So usually it's the teacher who's supposed to facilitate the whole program or the session, but then since no teacher was around, Alex had to facilitate. So Alex just gave the materials, the toolkit and everything else to the, to the students and then they, the student mentors and the mentees just paired up and then they found their spots on the floor and started reading together. Um, the student mentors are actually those who excel in their English classes. So they're the ones who tutor those who need practice and help. So while they were um, teaching the mentors, there were also times that I had to take over or Nikki had to take over because the mentors had to take their own bathroom breaks and we didn't wanna disrupt the whole flow of the session. And after everything, basically Alex just gathered the student mentors and he asked for the progress of their mentees and then he just compiled them all in this Excel sheet. Okay, so we realized that um, as I mentioned earlier, there, weren't all, there wasn't any teacher to facilitate or the teacher wasn't always around. So we also, a challenge that we realized is probably that the program may appear as additional work or burden for them since they already have a lot going on on their plate. And maybe m many of these teachers are very distant to the program because since there's already a lot of, of things going on, it's hard for them to gather the data and to collect everything else. So. Because being a teacher, like we're just facilitating, you're also in charge of tracking their progress, you're in charge of keeping the materials and all things like that. So the next day we split up. I went with Suyen, who is also a co-founder of My Readers. Um, she was invited to pitch at a workshop attended by principals. So she just shared about My Readers. Um, and then, so she showed a video 
um, of a boy reading before the program and then after the program when he improved a lot. So a lot of the principals were really interested. Um, she also showed some slides with a lot of data about my readers. Um, so with this, we realized that their brand strategy, the structure of my readers, and their identity could be more defined. Um, as you can see, like their materials aren't very cohesive. Um, and sayang, because they're doing such great work, but it's not reflected in their brand. Um, so yeah, we could fix that a bit better so they can attract more volunteers and funders. So while Nikki was there, um, I joined Alex along with Roxy in the community session. Um, for this, in, unlike the schools, they had volunteers. Like it's not just limited to the students and other teachers. Like it's really, it really can be anyone. So the new volunteers were briefed by the old volunteers and Alex in small groups for around 10 to 15 minutes. And then once the kids started entering, that's when they were already paired up with them. And there were times that I had to take over as well, and Roxy, because there weren't enough volunteers. Like, a lot of them didn't show up. So the kids had to be paired with new volunteers. And at the end of the session, they also have to track the progress. But it gets messy if the volunteers keep changing. So towards the end of the session, Alex told us to write a praise for the kid. Like, what, what good thing did your kid do today? Or what did he learn? And the kid was also asked to share a new word that he, he learned towards the end of the session. So with this, we also realized that the volunteers probably didn't have also enough training and orientation from, um, from, from my readers because they're only brief for 10 to 15 minutes and that may not be enough. And I also talked to the other volunteers and they mentioned that they actually heard of my readers through word of mouth and that's probably not enough information um, for them. So because of this, they may also have this lack of commitment because the My Readers program actually lasts for six months and most of the volunteers only show up for a few weeks or just a week. So they just don't commit themselves anymore. So we found these three challenges and then we realized that they were affecting yeah, so they're affecting the two important parts of my readers, which is the mission and the mentors. Um, so my readers has this program that's supposed to be sustainable. They're not supposed to be directly teaching the kid how to read. Um, it should be the mentors who are directly interacting with the children. So um, strengthening their mission is important because then they can share um, what my readers is all about. Uh, they can communicate it better to the mentors who keep the system going. Um, we realized that the issue isn't that kids can't learn how to read because they can. Um, the problem was that those who teach them are unequipped, they're unmotivated, and they're unappreciated. Um, and they're solving literacy together as a team. My readers, the volunteers, teachers, and student mentors. So we should prepare to do it, and we should be proud of it. Um, so our, so our design solution or proposal is based on equipping and celebrating their mission and mentors. By equipping, we mean creating tools and materials that will help them communicate their mission better. Um, and by celebrating, we mean just increasing the emotional value of the brand and deepening the connection between the mentor and the child. So yeah, the first part of propose our proposal is developing their brand. And the second part is creating a kit for teachers. So the first proposal is the development of the brand strategy, identity, and communications. So before we wanted to go with anything visual, we wanted to establish my readers first, and we wanted to figure, we wanted to see if we were all on the same page. So we made a brand statement uh, with Alex. So my readers provide structured and sustainable literacy toolkits and programs for schools and communities designed to enable children to read through one-on-one -on -one lessons. As for their brand structure, we also realized that how they, set, how they plan their program is by the venue, so that's the schools and the community centers. But then we realize that it's also important to highlight um, those who are teaching these kids. So we came up with this. So under my readers is the literacy toolkit and the literacy programs. And under the literacy programs are the peer-to-peer -peer reading sessions, which are facilitated by teachers, and the volunteer reading, which, are, which is facilitated by my readers. 
So this is the current, well, the old logo of my readers. Um, there's a, actually, people actually get confused with the logo because um, it's either they put a space between my and readers and then, or they just assume it's a reading club. So this is the logo that we came up with. It's really inspired by a quote that Alex said that education is everyone's business and everyone should be involved. It's just that, um, you cannot solve illiteracy alone. You have to, my readers works with other people, especially the people they collaborate with, the students, the teachers, and the mentors. So this is inspired by the, read, the sessions that we attended. If you can see in the picture um, and the logo, it's like two hands pointing at the book. Because if you, we noticed that um, the, the student and the mentors or the volunteers would read together and they wouldn't move on until the student would get the word right. During the sessions, we noticed like their banners were just written on paper, so during clean and torn up. So we wanted to create something for them that they can use like when they're at an event or something, or even during sessions, just to have something inspirational on the walls. Um, we also like fixed up their slides um, so that when they're presenting to funders, the content is a lot more digestible. And business cards to match the rebrand and t-shirts um, that look professional, but also like quite casual. So even if it's a formal event, they can wear it. Um, we wanted to encourage them to create more engaging and original content, like IG stories, um, which they're doing now. And also more social media posts, because I not we noticed that they're, when they call for volunteers, it's just a text post. So maybe if we engage them more by creating promos, they'd be more eye-catching and they're, they'll be able to sign up. And then testimonials, since towards the end of every session, they get feedback from the volunteers so they can share like an inspirational quote or something that they learned towards the end of the day. And name tag is just also to increase emotional value and to establish a relationship between the volunteer and the student. So like this one, hi, I'm your teacher, Alex. And hi, I'm your student, Farah. So the second proposal is the training and management kit. So the orientation deck, since um, the volunteers are usually oriented 10 to 15 minutes before the session starts, we wanted to create an orientation deck that um, contains everything the teachers, students, mentors, and volunteers needs to know. And the training video as well on how to um, read with your mentee and um, how to use the workbook as well. So like, like this, just this mock-up, it's just, um, we plan to send the link to the teacher or the volunteer before the session. And a kit for the teachers is just something they can hold on to and something that they can treasure. It includes, um, pins, stamps, posters they can hang up, in hang up in their classrooms, and then also a welcome letter. So welcome letter, notebook, and this card contains important links for them to remember. And also pins just so they could advocate, they, they are proud to be advocates as well for my readers. And stamps just to remind the students or the children that they are doing well and that every step counts. So when I was with Suyen, like we were just in her car talking casually, tos bigla lang she said na my readers as an organization, we don't want to be around for too long because that means there are still kids who can't read. So wow, na ako. <laughs> and then yeah, so you can really see their passion and their commitment in what they do, which is amazing. Um, and now actually they've started to apply the rebrand, so they're using the new logo now. Uh, they're making their own promos based on the brand that we created. Um, so hopefully that will help them. Um, that's a step towards shaping a world where every child can read. Thank you.